what are some other industries like tech that can absolutely move forward and already seeing people moving to qualify people without a true college degree? Yeah, I mean, well, of course, tech. Right. Um, but you, you we're looking at welding, if, you, if plumbing, if you can, if you're a plumber, right. I mean, you're making bank. Yeah. You know, and there's such a shortage as well. Right. You know, um, the, even billing, medical billing and coding. I mean, there's, you could, you, you could just Google in like, you know, best jobs that don't require a degree. Right. And you'll see that list grow and grow as more companies are realizing that they can't really wait on the university system to right. pump out these graduates who they're going to have to spend the next nine months yeah. training. The way I'll, I'll tell you one that I've been diving into because my son's interested in it. We've talked a lot about it. I went down to Georgia and we saw the Georgia Film Institute. And the film industry, yes, it does not require a four-year degree. Yeah. And there are some schools that are allowing kids to be learning during the day, yeah. and working the next day mm -hmm. as PAs, production assistants. Yeah, you know, I think about politics. I went straight into politics. I'm a college dropout because I didn't need that degree. And mm -hmm. this was back, you know, in '95, '96. Yeah. Uh, there could be trade schools, if you will, mm -hmm. for training someone in the art of political work there there are specific yes. types of jobs yeah, yeah. Uh, i think of the acting i think of film i think of um uh audio production audio and video production <laughs> you know it's so, i mean that's the future yeah it's so crazy ken because what you're sharing uh so uh, i've talked to you i think i've talked to you about this but we've actually started a college bethel college um and i oversee the college and so in addition to bethel school of technology we have our bethel music college we just launched an audio production program it's, it is the best in the world like people come to bethel to learn how to do audio production and so we've created a program around that we also it's also like worship and stuff like that but then we have a conservatory of the arts so we have programs at at the the longest program that we have is an acting program that's three years but we have certificates in screenwriting and filmmaking things like that and we connect with industry leaders on creating that pipeline in there we've even been talking about how do we we want to create a farm system in Georgia with right. the with the explosion of entertainment yeah. that's going on yeah, there. The film with, is exploding. Yeah. yeah. So I do think that that is another one that you absolutely you need to get your hands dirty, you know, mm -hmm. and that doesn't require you being in just learning kind of the philosophical right. things that come with a yeah. with a university education. You need to get immediately applicable skills and. Oftentimes, those skills do not require four-year or even two-year That's degrees. exactly right. Let's take something that's a little bit more general, and if you wanted to be a writer, I would never tell someone who wants to be a writer, a, a, a just a general writing, to go get a journalism degree. Yeah. Because number one, journalism doesn't pay squat. <laughs> I, I'm a journalism major. I know. But, but, but if, let's say with all the skills that a writer has in today's yeah. world, marketing, social media, yeah. Uh, you know, you talk about digital marketing, how digital marketing has become like, oh, the way, I mean, yeah. if you're a good writer, yeah, I can think of about five to 10 amazing paths for you to win professionally. Yes. But it's not the old school. Well, yeah. I got to get a journalism degree yeah. and prove that I'm a writer. And I'm not knocking journalism. No, no, no. The, the best way to become a good writer is to read. Exactly. You learn, you read, you find voices that you really yeah. appreciate, whether that's Malcolm Gladwell right. or, or whomever, you know. King Coleman. Yeah, and I can think of ten people. Yeah. I'm not kidding you. In no. Nashville, yeah, who should probably start a writing school. Yeah, or like a Bethel Tech, and it's like here's a program. It's yeah. X amount of weeks. Yeah, and we're going to teach you the ins and the outs of writing, and you're going to get real experience. Yeah. You don't need to go to a four year. I'll, for that. I'll tell you. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. And just start writing. There's so many platforms that you can start writing, and you know, just learn your craft and learn your voice. And uh, I remember when I was writing, I was doing, I used to write the sports articles for American Airlines, their in-flight magazine. And then I wrote for this group, um, this long form um, digital outlet called SB Nation. My editor, he was the editor for the, be I wrote sports articles, best in American sports writing volumes. He would basically aggregate the best sports articles all um, every year. He, it was a master class in learning to write. The fact that he took me under his wing and he held my feet to the flame to make sure I was writing the right way, that, that was two articles that I did with him. That was a total of six months. It was incredible. I learned more in that interaction with him yeah. than four years um, in a journalism degree at one of the best journalism schools in the country. Yeah. And I love that school, yeah. by the way. Um, but it was like, 
I could have like, this is what I need. So you find apprenticeship. I mean, that basically I was becoming an apprentice informally. Sure. So I do think apprenticeships are another thing, whether that's writing or plumbing or tech jobs. Like I think that that's, you know, going back to the old gym kind of, so I'm using a Rocky term, but apprenticeships I do think are the way forward. And you can learn by seeing somebody teach, model, activate. That's actually our whole philosophy in, in Bethel Tech. You learn. Um, somebody's modeling it to you, and then they activate you to do it. Yeah. And, and I think that's the wave of the future. And that does not require four years it and $150,000. I want those that are watching this to understand what they should do practically based on your advice to go see what your employer may be willing to offer because of the tax credit that companies get. How do they go about practically talking to their leader and saying, hey, I'd like to get some continuing education would you help me? Like, what's that look like? Because yeah. I think that's a little nerve wracking for people. Yeah. So give them some navigation. Yeah, I think it, de it depends on if you're in a, a career path that you love, then have a conversation with your supervisor on how you can grow. Okay. Every supervisor oh, loves sure. it. When, when my employees come to me and say that, I am quick to uh, honor that right. because that's the kind of employee that you want. You sure. are falling over yourselves to find somebody who's going to take that type of initiative. And so if they're, let's just say they're a, a call center representative and they want to get into um, business analytics or something like that, or maybe they, maybe they want to get into a tech job, like look at what, talk to the advisor, make sure that it's a job related um, degree that will be funded by tuition reimbursement right. uh, and then go after it. And then if you're looking at making some type of leap in your own company, or uh, maybe there's a company that you love that you dream of working for, just look and see what jobs are open. I guarantee you, if it's a major company, there are probably thousands of tech jobs. And if that's something that interests you, or you have an inclination toward it, just start doing your research. That's start right. learning about kind of the ins and outs of basic um, software development. See if that's something that sparks something in you. in you. There are free programs. You can go to YouTube and find free programs on you know just getting kind of the, the basics of software development. Development. And then if you like it, then talk to your employer and um, find a program like Bethel Tech that you can actually get high touch, high support and learn the ins and outs so you can uh, you can transition into that. Type yeah. of and the key here is, is that we want people to understand that that you may get shot down, but if you don't and they're going, hey, we'd be willing to do this. It's because they want to retain you. They yeah. want to move you up. That's yeah. why companies are willing to do this. Well, and let me plain just, and simple. Let me be frank. If your supervisor shoots you down for your initiative to grow, mm -hmm. you may not want to be working there Well, anymore. 100%. Yeah. You're <laughs> yeah you ain't for going the exit. anywhere. I'm telling that's you. That's exactly so right. That's you, exactly yeah, right. So that, but most employers, they're really looking for those. Is this something that's easy to discover in the job search process? Yep. How would one find yeah, that? Yeah, if you go to Glassdoor, um, you go to Indeed, all these major job sites or just type in, you know, you could type in companies with the best tuition reimbursement. Okay. And there'll be a list of 50 of there. I mean, I typed them up last night, you know, just doing some research. And, you know, there, there were a lot of good ones and there were some that aren't on the list that I know, actually, those are even better, you know, but the most companies do, I mean, whether it's Lowe's, whether it's Walmart, whether it's Home Depot, I mean, you're probably already working at these companies. Right. Take advantage Just, of it. Yeah, talk to the HR yes, team. Yes. You, you know, that's an actual, you know, you don't have to talk to your direct leader just to snoop yeah. around yeah. and kind of gauge the situation. But I love that advice if we're in the job search. Let's look at a place that offers tuition yeah. reimbursement because now you know yeah. that this is a company who wants to develop people yeah. for the purpose of promoting people. Yeah, think two and three steps ahead too. Like let's say that you, you, you're you not where you want to be. You need a job. Look for a job, and even if it's a job that you don't necessarily want to be in at that moment, look at a company that will invest in progressing your career within that organization. So you might start at a certain point, but know that that could lead to, you know, uh, the dream job that you want, and that company will help you make it happen. This is this is what it looks like to be a, a student in the new model of education. Yeah, yeah. And this is where it needs to go. It does. Yeah. To that end, I want to flip it for a moment. Talk to leaders. Mm -hmm. So we have some small business people probably listening, watching this, yeah. and they're going, okay, this sounds great. This will be a great employee benefit. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I get started? What would be your advice? Yeah, there? there's a couple of things. If you're a large company, make it happen. 
it's not hard. Yeah. You know, just you probably already have an employee education benefit. I would say look at maybe even increasing it uh, and and then work directly. You know, I see companies that will work directly with universities. Maybe they um, create a network of universities, 10 to 20 universities mm-hmm. that you can trust and have the degree programs that you know are relatable to your organization. If you're a small to medium sized business owner and you don't have the capacity for an employee education, benefit set aside in your budget every year x amount of dollars for training and development and so you want to recognize your high potential employees and as part of your career progression model and seeing where you want them to go factor in just say ten thousand dollars ten to fifteen thousand dollars uh for maybe 15 to 20 people and work with them to find programs that are going to help them grow within your organization. So wow. if that's something on the tech side, you know, you don't need to you don't need to invest $150,000 in a computer science degree, invest in something like Bethel Tech and say, we will actually connect you directly. And we know that they have the programs that we're looking for. And once you're done, we will transition you into, you know, one of these types of roles. You know, it really is. I mean, gosh, you see it. Liberty Mutual has done this. AT&T has done this. Verizon's done this. Cigna Healthcare has done this. Bank of America. They're all being very strategic about their training and development budget and their employee education benefit. Yeah, because let's be honest, this leads to higher retention. Yes, and yeah. that's the game right now. Yeah. Companies are scrambling to keep people. In the tech side, every 30 days that a tech job, a software development job goes, um, uh, that stays open, it's a it's an opportunity cost of over $60,000. Unbelievable. So they are wanting the talent.